Hey guys, welcome back to part 2 for this tutorial on how to build this Italian Mediterranean style house. Here in this one we're going to mark out where the porches and balconies are, finish doing the rest of the exterior walls, and we're also going to do the roof. I have all the blocks we're going to be using in this video, so make sure to grab the sandstone, the smooth sandstone, the chiseled sandstone, and then the smooth sandstone stairs and slabs and then the black stained glass panes, dark oak stairs, trap doors, buttons, fences, slabs, and signs. And then I have the granite block, stairs, and slabs, the brick block, stairs, and slabs, and then the andesite wall, any leaves of your choice, some chains, birch trap doors, levers, and lanterns. I'm gonna start here at the back side. Make sure you have the sandstone. I'm going to head on over here towards this right side, right behind this wall. And make sure you're lined up here where this third block is, away from the edge. And we're just going to work our way back, towards the back, by 13 blocks of the sandstone. Now we're going to start working our way over towards the left, towards that wall. So we're going to be skipping over these three blocks until we're lined up with the fourth one. We're going to place a block of the sandstone. Skip over another three until you're on the fourth. Place another one here. And then do it one more time. And the final block should be right up against this wall. Now make sure to have the smooth sandstone. And we're just going to place one more block on top of all of this regular sandstone. You want to make sure to do this corner right here as well. And now right behind this corner, we're going to skip back by three until you're on this fourth block. We're going to place another one, skip three again, and then on the fourth, place one. And then one more time, the fourth block should be right up against this wall. So now on top of all of those smooth sandstone blocks, we're going to place a block of the chiseled sandstone. And then after all of this, will be three more layers of the smooth. And now we're going to go in between all of these pillars, across the top, and fill it all in with more of the smooth. Switch to the smooth sandstone stairs. We're going to be having these upside down in each corner where we just placed these pillars. And now let's go ahead and do the railing right here in between these spaces. So it's just going to be another stair on each side, just upside down, right up against all the pillars. And then we're going to use the slab and just fill in that remaining space. And I'm going to be sure to add a birch trap door in between all the stairs at the top where the remaining space is. And you don't have to do this, it's a very very small detail that'll probably go unnoticed. But I did decide to place the trap doors so that the handle is facing on the inside. So that when you're looking at it from the outside it's not as noticeable. It gives it a little bit more of a seamless look. And now below all of the stairs I'm going to add another trap door. So we just shaped it out like that so it looks a little bit more like an arch. Now I'm going to head on over to the other side here. And I'm going to have another small porch. So make sure to switch back to the sandstone. We're going to go right up against the wall here right at the edge. Place a block of the sandstone right here. And then we're going to skip out by three spaces until you're on the fourth block. We're going to have another one here. Then we're going to go back in towards this wall and have one more. And now let's just continue the pattern, so we have the block of the smooth sandstone, then the chiseled, and the three extra layers of the smooth. And now across the top, in between these, we'll have some more smooth. We'll then have the stair in each corner. 
And then the birch trap door at the top. And then below the stairs. So we have a small porch right here. Now I'm back up at the front side of the house. We're going to start bringing up all the walls for the second floor. So make sure you have the smooth sandstone. And I'm going to start here in the middle. Go right here to this corner. And we'll go ahead and place two layers of smooth sandstone. We'll just bring it straight across. Add an extra layer right on top of this. And now we're going to go behind this side here at the left. Fill in these other two spaces. And go ahead and bring this across to the other side. And then bring it back out until it's lined up with that other side. And now you can bring this over to that corner. So we just added two extra layers of the smooth sandstone and we have a little shape looking like this. Now be sure to switch to the smooth sandstone stairs. We're going to be placing these upside down on this wall right here. So you could just bring it out by two here. Curve right into the corner. And then bring it over into this side. Now let's mark out where the windows are going to be. Make sure to switch back to the smooth sandstone. We'll look at this right side first. We're going to fill in these two spaces here. And then the other two spaces on this side, leaving two in the middle. Now we're going to have a layer of chiseled sandstone on top of that. And then two more layers of the smooth. And then we'll go across the top and place another two to connect it together. So now we have a window right here, just like the bottom. We'll head on over to the left and do the same thing. So two blocks of smooth right here. Skip over two, have another two. And then the chiseled on top of that. Two layers of the smooth. And then connect it together in the middle like that. Now let's do this middle space here. So you can see on each side we're going to fill in these two spaces. So we have the smooth, the chiseled, and the smooth. Do the same over here. And then on each side, right here and right here, we're going to add another layer going in. And then here in the middle, we're just going to have one block and we're going to bring it up with the same pattern. And then let's connect it across the top. Now let's bring up the wall right here in the middle. So we're going to go on this right side first, and we're going to be filling in the corner. So just where these three blocks are, you could have two layers of the smooth sandstone, and then a layer of the chiseled, and then three more layers of the smooth. So just for this corner here, we're going to do the same on the other side. So it's now like this. Now let's go right down the middle and just have a single block again going up with the same pattern. And then we'll go across the top with some more of the smooth sandstone. And then grab the smooth sandstone stairs. We're going to have two at the bottom facing up. And then we're going to have two upside down at the top, but they're going to be at their side. So we just shaped out some cutouts here at the front. Now let's head on over here towards the right. And we'll start doing this wall here at the side. So first, what we want to do is switch back to the smooth sandstone. And add an extra layer right up against the wall here. So we're going to add two blocks of the sandstone there at the top. And then the chiseled. And then two more blocks below that. So we just add in an extra layer here at this right side. So you should be able to see three spaces. And now we're going to start working our way towards the back. And you can see right here this wall, like this corner should now be lined up where this wall is. So just make sure of that. That should all just be lined up. So we're going to go right behind this. Now we're just going to push back another two blocks. Just continue the same pattern. So we have the smooth, the chiseled, and the smooth. And then we're going to go down here at the bottom. Place another three. And then on that final block, 
add an additional one on top, the chiseled, and then back to the smooth. And then we'll go across the top and add another two. So you're now going to be left with a window here. Let's bring this over this entire wall by another two layers. So it'll be left with three for this space. So you can see now we're left with three. And then we're going to mark out another window here. So, three more blocks of the smooth. We'll have one more here on the final block. The chiseled, back to the smooth. Then the two smooth at the top. And then we'll just add two more layers right behind this. So now for this right side, we're left with three spaces, a window, three spaces, a window, and three spaces. So it's all evened out. Now let's head on over to the other side. I'm going to go right next to this wall just like we did over there and add an additional layer. So we have the two of the smooth at the top, the chiseled, and the two of the smooth again. And now we're going to go right behind this final layer, so right here at the edge, work your way towards the back. And I'll just start at the bottom layer with the smooth and bring this all the way back till we meet up with the corner right here. You just want to be lined up with it. And now let's add another layer of the smooth right on top of this. Then the chiseled. And then the two more layers of the smooth. So this wall is going to be completely filled in. There's not going to be any windows. We'll head on back over here to this side where we left off. With the smooth sandstone. We're going to start working our way towards that direction. So at the bottom, we'll bring this out by two. And just completely fill all of this in with the same pattern. So you should now be able to see three spaces here. Go back down at the bottom. We'll have three of the smooth. And then at the final block, we'll have just a single block, the chiseled, and the two on top of that. And then the two going across the top. So now we have another window right here. Let's add another layer right up against this. And then we'll bring it out towards that back side. Starting right here at the edge. And we'll just place another three going out. So we have this section done. So now the edge of this wall should be lined up with the edge of this wall over here. So let's face towards the back now. We'll look at the left side first, continue with the smooth sandstone, we'll look at the bottom layer, and we'll bring this out by 5, going towards that wall, we'll actually do the same over here, so another 5. And then you're going to be left with 3 spaces here in the middle, now on each side, we're going to place another 2, then the chiseled, and then back to the smooth, we'll look over here, do the same thing. And then we have the single space right here, right where we left off. So we're just going to have a single block. And then you can connect it towards the top. So we have a window here, a window here. This space in the middle is going to be a doorway. Let's be sure to add another layer of the smooth going across the top there. Now continue with the smooth sandstone. Now look over here towards this side. We're going to go right below this section of the wall and place a block of the smooth sandstone so we're just one block away from the corner here now we're going to bring this out towards the back by five so this right here is going to be the start of the floors for the balcony it's just going to make it easier to place it like this so that we can start placing all the pillars i'm going to head on over here to this side and look at this corner Make sure you're lined up with the fourth block. We're going to go right below this block. Place another of the smooth sandstone. And then bring it out by three in this direction. And now what we're going to be doing is connecting these two together. So you can bring this out until it's lined up at the same edge as that side. So it's going to be an additional eight. And now you can see we're just lined up with that side, so we're going to be sure to connect this together. There we go. And now let's start filling it all in.
So now we have the layer for the floors here for the balcony. We can now start marking out where all the pillars are going to be. So we're going to start with the smooth sandstone. We're going to go right here up against the wall, right at the edge of where these floors are. And I'll just place two blocks of the smooth. We'll skip over three until we meet up at this corner. Have another two. And now just continue skipping over three until you meet up at that corner. So right here. Another one here. Skip over three. We got one here. And one more here. You can see how these pillars are lined up with the ones at the first floor. And now we'll start working our way in this direction. So we're going to have one right here. Leaving three spaces. Another one here. And then we're just going to skip over one space and have one more here up against the wall. And then we'll have the layer of the chiseled sandstone. And then two more layers of the smooth. And now let's go in between all those at the top and add another layer of the smooth sandstone. Now be sure to switch to the smooth sandstone slab and we're going to fill in the ceilings. So it's going to be at the top edge of all these full blocks that we just placed right here within this space. So there we go, we just filled it all in with the slabs. So you should now still be able to see just half a space in between the windows and the doorway and all of these blocks here. Now let's start doing all the railings. So it's just going to be the upside down stair on each side with the slab in the middle. Over here where the single space is, it's just going to be a slab. But everywhere else will be the stair on each side and the slab. And now let's look at the top, have another upside down stair in each corner. And for the single space, I'm just going to have another one just upside down straight on like that. And then below all of these stairs and in between them at the top, I'll be sure to have a birch trap door. And for the single space, we're not going to be able to really have anything here. But anyway, we now have the balcony here at the back side all marked out. Now let's finish all the windows and the doorway here at the back. I guess we'll start with the doorway first, since it's once and then we're done. So, I'm going to start with the dark oak stairs. Place three of these upside down at the top. Be sure to grab the black stained glass. I'll just swap out the birch trap door. And then we also need the dark oak fence. I'll just swap out the smooth sandstone slab. So, we just have the glass going up on each side. Then curve it out at the bottom and at the top. And then the space in the middle will be the dark oak fence for the handle. Now, let's do everything for the windows. So if you remember how we did it on the first floor, we just added the extra layer of the wall right behind it on the outer edge placed the glass, and then the stairs and the trap doors. So we're going to be doing the same thing for the second floor. How about I just start at the front wall? So just go around the outer edge of all the windows, here on the inside, and add the extra layer of the wall. We'll do the same over here. I'll look at this wall, do the same thing again. Then we have the back side. And I almost forgot about the two windows here in the middle. So be sure to add an extra layer around the edge of these windows as well. And we're not going to be doing anything for the cutouts here on the outside. But anyway, we have the four windows here at the front. Here at the left we have these two, and then the one right here, and then at the back we have two more. 
So now within all of those, we're going to add the black stained glass panes. Alright, so I just filled all of the windows in with the black stained glass panes. Now we're going to go back on the outside and add the dark oak stairs at the top and the dark oak trap doors below those. So now we have the trap doors and the stairs for all of the windows here on the second floor. Now I'm back here at the front side. Make sure you have the brick slabs and I'm going to start doing the roof. So I'll head on over here towards the right first, right above the garage. At the top edge of these blocks, going along the outer edge, I'm just going to add a layer of the brick slabs. And now we're going to go in and up, so right on top of the wall, add another layer of the bricks. And then we're going to go up and in one more time and add just one more layer of the bricks. And you can then just fill all of this in as well. So bring it all the way over right up against the edge of this wall until you meet up with the brick here at this side. And then, like I said, you could just fill all of this in here at this third layer. So now we have the roof here for the first floor at the right side. Now let's do the left side over here, so continue with the brick slabs. I'll be at the top edge of this wall, just add a layer and wrap it around the corner, right into there. Let's go up on the next layer and just be right on top of the wall. So we just have two like that. Now let's head on over here to this side and do the same thing. So right here at the top edge of the wall, just wrap this around the corner. Bring it all the way towards the back. You can wrap it around the corner here. And then just continue along this wall. And then bring it out one more block further here and bring it all the way into that wall. So just straight across again. And now we're going to go back up towards the front, add the second layer so that it matches up with that side. We'll just follow right along the edge of that previous brick layer. So we just added those two layers of the brick slabs around the outer edge. Now let's add the roof here for this upper level. So we'll just start here at the front at the top edge of these blocks. And then bring it out by one on each side. You can then bring this all the way back into that wall. So just bring it straight across right here at the edge of this brick. Right into that wall. We'll do the same over here. So we'll bring this out. Just bring it straight across towards the back. Once you meet up with the edge here where this corner is, you could just follow right along and continue. And then bring this in right here. So now you can see we have three layers of the brick. And right here at the corner where it all shapes out here, we're going to go at that third layer and just bring this straight into that wall. So just bring it straight across. And now all the space here at the back side will continue filling in at that same layer. So now we have the back side all filled in. We'll head on back up here towards the front and I want to be sure to add two more layers of the brick going up. So I'll just start here at the front side, right here at the edge of the brick again. And just wrap this all the way around towards the back and then bring it into this wall here. And then we'll do the same on this side. We'll just bring this straight across towards the back again. And we want to bring it in as far as these two blocks. So now you can see we're left with a space of three. So we're going to go up one more half block higher. And this will be the final layer for this roof. So 
So now we have this side all done. I'm at the back side again. Let's do the roof here for this section. So I'll head on over towards the left first. I'm going to connect into this part. Just here at the top edge again. And wrap this all the way around. Just follow right along this wall. And bring it right into the elevated part here. We'll go on this side. And start right here. And bring it right into where we left off with this roof. Let's go up on the next layer. You can see we just have a little L shape here that we're going to fill in. Just like that. Now over on this side we're going to do the same thing. Just follow right along the edge of the brick. And we're going to stop it until we're lined up here where this corner is. So we'll actually just start right here right up against it. And bring it all the way in towards that elevated little bit of the wall right here. So now you can see we have this gap remaining. We just want to make sure to switch back to the smooth sandstone and fill in this space here. So it's going to be these five blocks. So now it looks like a solid wall. Back to the brick slabs again. We'll go to the elevated part. Add this at the top edge. Bring it over on each side by one. And now I'll go ahead and just bring it in straight into the floor right there for this side. And over here on this side. We'll bring it all the way across here. Wrap it around and into the wall right here. And now we're going to go ahead and continue filling in the rest of this. So it's going to be three layers in height. There we go. And now we have one final layer here. It's just going to be an additional half block higher. And they could just fill all of this in. So now we have the roof done for the first floor. So we just went all the way around. Now we're going to start doing the second floor. So I'll just start at the lower level. And I'm just going to go all the way around the outer edge. So just like that went all the way around, we're going to go up in the next layer and do it again. Just follow right along the edge of the bricks. So now we have two layers. Let's go up on the elevated wall right here. Just right here at the top edge, add a strip of the bricks and we'll bring it out on each side. And then we'll bring this across until we're right here at the edge of the brick again. And then we'll just wrap this around just like how we did it for that previous layer. We just went all the way around. Now let's do the next layer. It's going to be a little bit different. So I'll just start here at the front at this corner. We're going to bring this straight towards the back, but we want to be sure to leave one more space away from that other layer. So you can see right here, we're going to be leaving this space empty. Now let's go back up towards the front, fill in this space right here. All the way to the corner. And now we're going to bring this layer straight back until we're lined up with that other side. And then you could just connect these together to just go straight across. And now we're going to go up one more layer. And then at this layer, it'll all be completely filled in for this section. So we have the elevated part all filled in here. Everywhere else is just going to be completely filled in at this third layer. So it's already where it should be. We're just going to fill it all in around this upper level now. And 
And there we go, that was the last of the roof. So now we have the entire roof for the house filled in and complete. So this is what it should be looking like. I'm at the back side again, and I have all of the granite and brick blocks. I'm going to start placing the floors for the porches. It's going to be the same thing that we did for the porch at the front entrance. So I'll maybe just start with some granite stairs. Maybe just have one right there. Maybe a brick slab here and a brick stair, just all random, doesn't have to be any particular way. Maybe have another brick stair, a granite stair, and maybe a slab. And then a few brick blocks, maybe some granite blocks, some granite stairs. So how about we do maybe just one stair right there, another one right here with the brick. And then let's do some more brick blocks and granite blocks. So just a little something like that. We'll head on over here to this space and we'll do the same thing. So we'll just go in between all these pillars here, add some stairs and slabs. I think that's fine. And now let's add all the full blocks and some stairs here for this space. Alright, so I have all the floors filled in here for this space now. Now let's be sure to fill in the ceilings here. So grab is the smooth slabs again, the smooth sandstone slabs. And we'll just go here at this top edge of the wall and fill all of this in. So now we have the ceilings filled in here. So now that we have the ceiling filled in, make sure you have the full blocks of the smooth sandstone. We're going to head on back up to the front to this space right here. We just want to be one block, like pretty much leave one block away from these stairs. So at this layer here, we're going to fill all of this in with the smooth sandstone blocks. So that then we'll have this ceiling filled in. Now we're going to go around to do the final touches. So make sure you have the leaves, the dark oak slabs, and the dark oak signs. And we're going to do the same bushes that we did below the windows for the first floor. So have the leaves, these slabs, and then the signs around that. So we're just going to have these bushes here at the front side. We're not going to have them anywhere else. Now make sure to have the andesite wall, the dark oak fence, the chain, and the lantern. We're going to go right up in here where the front porch is. Go all the way up at the andesite wall, place this at the ceiling. And then below that, we're going to have a dark oak fence. Below that, we're going to bring down three chains. And then we'll have the lantern. And now we have a nice light source here for the front porch. Now I'm here at the back side again. I almost forgot about the ceiling here for this porch. So be sure to switch back to the smooth sandstone slab. We'll just swap out the dark oak slab. And we'll fill all of this in here at the top edge of the wall here and there we go and now let's switch back to the lever we're also going to be using the chain and the lantern again and we're just going to continue going around with some more light so i'm going to go ahead and place the lever here then the chain so we're going to be sure to crouch and place it and then the lantern so now we have a nice light source here for this porch we'll go on over to this side and I'm going to go behind these pillars, add a couple here, and a couple more over here. So just the lever pointing down. Be sure to crouch, add a chain below that. And then we have the lantern after that. So now we have all of this fully lit up. We're going to head on up here to this balcony. And how about we just do... Maybe one right here, and another one over here.
So now we have all the porches and balconies lit up. Now let's go around and start adding the last of the dark oak buttons. So I'll just start here at the back. I'm just going to line up where all the pillars are at the top block. And just place some of the buttons right along here. Let's head on over to this side and do the porch here. So just right where all of these pillars are. A little something like that. Now let's head on up to the second floor. We'll go ahead and have one right here. Another one here. And then just lined up where all of these pillars are. Like that. And I don't think I really had any over here on this wall, but I will be sure to add one right here. Because then we're going to also have one here, and I think that just kind of goes along together here at the corner. And here at the front, I'm going to have three. But I do want to make sure the ones on the first floor match up with it. So all you really want to do is just shift over this button here and this one here. Just so that they're all lined up. And now over on this side, we'll have one here. Another one here. Right here in the middle. And another one here. And that is the last one. Now there's going to be one final thing I'm going to do here for part 2. And that's going to be the leaves on the roof all around the house. So I'm just going to place these wherever I feel like it's a good spot. You can add as many or as little as you want. Or even none at all. It's going to be completely up to you. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it at that here for part 2. So we just finished up the rest of the exterior of just the house itself. In part 3, we'll be sure to do all of the landscaping around the house. We should also have time to do the first half of the interior. So be sure to please leave a like if this did help you. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part 3.